Hi guys, I'm Jessica from How Sweet Eats, and today we're gonna make my favorite butternut squash hummus. This hummus is such a great dip to have as a weekend treat, to serve on Halloween, to serve at Thanksgiving, to serve for a football tailgate. It's so creamy and smooth, and it has so much autumn flavor. We're gonna roast the squash first and mix it in, and then top it with pomegranate arils and pepitas, and there's just a ton of flavor and texture. It's delicious. So to start, we're gonna chop up our butternut squash. The key is, though, that you wanna chop it into pieces that are all roughly the same size. That way they'll cook evenly. Okay, my squash looks pretty good. I'm gonna take it, place it on a parchment, covered baking sheet. I'm gonna drizzle it with olive oil and sprinkle it with some salt and pepper. I'm gonna grate some fresh nutmeg over top. To me, this is the key to make sure that it really has that fall taste. Just use a microplane and grate a little bit over top. I love using the fresh nutmeg because it just has so much more flavor than already ground nutmeg. My squash is ready to go. I'm gonna place it in a preheated oven and bake it for about 30 minutes just until it's a little bit caramely and roasted and fork tender. Okay guys, my squash is finished. It's caramely and delicious and has a ton of flavor. Now it's time to blend up our hummus. I just used canned chickpeas. I drained them, I rinsed them to remove any extra sodium. So we're just gonna pour them into the food processor. And I like to blend up my chickpeas first because I find that this makes the hummus really smooth and creamy. So I'm gonna place the top on my food processor and blend them up. Now that our chickpeas are somewhat pureed, we're gonna add in our butternut squash. It's cooled a little bit, it has all the spices and the flavors from the baking sheet. Pour it in there. We're gonna blend it again. Next, we're gonna add in our tahini. I find that this is also what makes the hummus super creamy and smooth, and I like to blend it up just with this in it before I add any other ingredients. You might need to scrape down the sides a little bit and keep on blending. With our food processor running, we're gonna stream in some olive oil. And I also like to add another little pinch of salt and pepper. Our final step to make this hummus super creamy is to add ice cold water. With the food processor running, stream this in. Our hummus is super smooth and creamy now and we're gonna pour it into the bowl. Did you see that beautiful orange color from the butternut squash? It's so perfect for fall. I'm just smoothing it out to make way for our toppings. Toppings are my favorite part, so we're really gonna load it up. I love having chickpeas on top because it gives a little bit of crunch and extra texture. I'm gonna drizzle these with a little bit of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil just for some flavor, and then my favorite step, I'm gonna drizzle it with pomegranate molasses. It's super flavorful and rich. Next, I'm gonna sprinkle on some freshly chopped sage. To me, this is just the epitome of fall. For some really pretty color and a burst of flavor, we have pomegranate arils. They're gonna add a little bit of sweetness to the hummus, but not too much, and they're also kind of tart. And then to finish everything off, we're gonna sprinkle the whole thing with roasted pepitas. And that is how you make my favorite butternut squash hummus for fall. It's such a beautiful appetizer, it's delicious, and it takes no time at all. <laughs> it's so good.